have you ever felt like there must be more to all of this than what we can simply see, hear, and touch? What if I told you that there is so much more? There is so much magic to discover. My good friend Willie and I are coming together to create some amazing new content. Over the next three months, we are releasing three video series. Yes, three. One with three videos, one with six, and one with nine videos. Hmm? See, we are not only believers in the power of 369, but we also practice it as well. Willie and I first met on Facebook on a spiritual awakening group, which led us to share even more in a positivity group that I created. But we now run it together with a few other of our soul family members. We have a quantum connection of some sort, an entanglement, if you will. We can, to some degree, communicate in a nonverbal way. We get the same or similar downloads often as well. When you meet people that you resonate with, do not ignore it. Do not discount it. It must be honored. God can give you the tools and the people, but it's up to you to connect and let the energy flow between you. When you feel it, go with the flow. Willie also has a YouTube channel called Entertainment Launcher. He covers topics related to living a happy life. This includes positive practices, meditation, and quantum physics, but also so much more. And me, my channel is The Lori Show. I love to discuss the law of attraction and all things happy and positive. So back to our three series. We hope you will love them. This is our first video. It is about quantum intelligence. Stay tuned for so much mind expanding content. Don't forget to leave a comment of any topics that you would like to see us cover. We always get so excited to hear from all of you guys. I'd like to send lots of love and light. Now here's Willie. Now here's Willie. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate the introduction. Uh, yes, we're awesome friends and we share a lot. We are connected in the quantum field and in the spiritual realm, definitely connected. I want to talk about the different intelligences that we have, but we're not going to go into too much detail. There's other videos around the world about the different intelligences. However, I am a freak of simplification. I grouped the nine intelligences into three major groups ex existential, body kinesthetic and mathematical logical with that logic we can analyze and determine what machines cannot do what type of intelligence artificial intelligence cannot perform or will have troubles in performing if I think about bodily kinesthetic, there's robots that have great precision in making things done, so machines can do that. Mathematical, logical. How about the quantum or psychic type of intelligences? Interpersonal intelligence, intrapersonal, natural intelligence. Machines, I don't think machines can do that. I honestly don't think they can. They can understand the self-aware interpersonal relations with other humans or appreciate nature as we do. This type of intelligence, now I'm calling it quantum intelligence, spiritual intelligence or psychic intelligence. Einstein said that imagination is everything. And if we think about the quantum field, we create layers of the multiverse with our mind. That is the type of intelligence I'm referring to, the ability to comprehend, relate and connect with other layers of the multiverse. We actually, we don't live in a universe, we are multidimensional beings. So that ability to interact with other dimensions of our, our version of ourselves in the multiverse that provide us that level of intelligence that is beyond what machines can do or could do in the future with artificial intelligence. That's how we humans can still be superior to any machines by developing the quantum intelligence, spiritual intelligence or psychic intelligence. There's a large list of psychic abilities like apportation, astral projection, automatic writing, divination, browsing, energy medicine, telekinesis, precognition, and the list continues and the list goes on. All those supernatural abilities are related to our intelligence in the quantum field. How do we relate with the quantum field in the multiverse? How do we exchange information and interact with other layers of the multiverse? Our seven chakras are connected in the multiverse. 
even though our physical bodies are separate in different places for example I might be sitting here right now but in the multiverse there is many copies of me identical copies of me doing other things not exactly what I'm doing those variations happen in the 3D in the physical realm not for the chakras the chakras are still connected to the source to my soul to my higher being my subconscious so the seven chakras as minds if we can connect and align our chakras and connect to our higher being the, the greater the understanding and psychic and quantum intelligence we can have Einstein said that imagination is everything yes everything we create is with our with our imagination the, the quantum intelligence is imagination as simple as that If you like our videos, please subscribe, enable the notification bell, and share to your friends.